you can't be into 419 and all kind of yahoo oppression and then you are not getting money you are crying oh god when will my breakthrough come that one you are not waiting on god you are waiting on maga to pay listen to me when your stand with god is intact and then you are not getting the result you should get then you should know that god's time will still be the best you know what peter was it peter that said we have left everything we have left our fathers, we have left children, we have left our net and we have followed you. He said, Master, what shall be our reward? And Jesus said, 100% here, 100% in heaven, plus persecution. So much plus persecution. persecution. Most of the times we talk about the profitings of following and we don't talk about the persecutions that goes with following. In following God, there are some things you will go through. There are some things that looks like delay, but God is working out the perfect time to show you forth. If Joseph had appeared in the palace before two years, he would have continued as a houseboy. Because his need would not have been needed. So he would have continued just an errand boy in the palace. But as at the time when the fullness of two years was completed, the Bible said there was a bad dream in the palace and there was a need for interpretation. And then the man said, I remember my sin this day. In the course of ministry, I have seen a woman believing God for the fruit of the womb for 22 years. In the course of this ministry, we have seen the woman give God pregnant and give birth to a child. We have seen people believing God for a breakthrough. We have seen it happen here. It's just that, listen to me, like one of my uh, daughters said to me, he said, Dad, I know that if God today gives you ability in his capacity, that you will answer the prayers of everybody without struggle. I say, you know. My challenge is that we, we do the prayers. God does the answer. And God has not answered does not mean he will not answer. Yes, sir. We love him against all odds. So there are times every one of you must understand that God is not wicked. Yes, Whatever you are going through now, God knows the best for your life. Listen to me. I often pray, pray, Lord, I am too short-sighted to make decisions about my future. Oh, God that knows the end from the beginning, help me in my decision god knows the best he knows why he costs you know when your car gets spoiled on the road you are blaming everything for the cars uh, for the problem but little later how will you feel to discover that just that breaking down of the car was what saved you from kidnappers many times what we know is what we go through we don't know what god has averted for us many times is what we have not received that we are conscious of what of what you have received People go to bed and don't wake up. Church, there is Valium 20, Valium 10 to sleep. There's no Valium to wake up. There's Valium sleep, there's no Valium wake up. Bible says, I think in Isaiah 50, say, you waken at me money by money. Who wakes you? God. He opened my ears to hear and I'm not rebellion. Every one of you must understand that God is not wicked. Every one of you hearing the sound of my voice in this auditorium today, in this thought service, I can guarantee you, as long as you are in stand with God and you are obeying the principles of God's word, it's a matter of time. What will be will come to pass. Yes, sir. Because God is not a man. I think in Habakkuk chapter 3, he said, write the vision, make it plain that they may run, that read it. He said, though the vision may tarry, it shall not tarry, it shall sure come to pass. I came to talk to somebody. God God has not had a hand in your pain. He does not have a hand in your tears. His interest is to see your testimony manifest. Hallelujah. There are some of us, what we go through may just be a test. John 6 verse 6. He said, and this he said to prove him. For he himself knew what he would, what he would do. God was talking to them and yet he has a solution with himself. Himself, the Bible said he already knew what he was, what he was going to do. So there are times when you go through situation and God is just watching you. He's not watching you because he hates you. He's not being silent because he does not know what to do. He's just watching most probably to check if you love him because of gold or you love him because of his sin. There are many of us in church who God is not showing forth for. Pastor is killing himself. And God is, I wish God will open some of us to know that this man is not here because of eternity. This man is here because of bread. Jesus said to them, after he fed them with bread, on another occasion, they gathered again and he says, is it not because of this bread that you have gathered again? Why are you serving God? Are you serving God because of bread? Or you are serving him because you love him? There is a junction where God will settle lovers, not users. In Genesis 22 verse 1, if you read your Bible down, Bible says, and the Lord tempted Abraham. When the God was telling Abraham, give me your son, God was not wicked. God is not a murderer. He was only trying to test Abraham to see if Abraham has suddenly loved the miracle more than the miracle worker. 
Number two, I said it could be a process of making. There are times when you go through what you go through, God is making you. I often say to people, let me go through my go through because my go through is what guarantees my breakthrough. If you have never been through anything, you don't break through from anything. I came to this talk service to let somebody know that God is not wicked. One of the reasons you are blaming God is because and most times when you blame God, you compare yourself with others. Bible says we are not in competition. We don't compare ourselves with others. Like otherwise, we are not wise. There's no comparing in this kingdom. Listen, Papa, we often say you have classmates, you have schoolmates, you have departmental mate, church mate, but you don't have grace mate. The day of your settlement is not the day of my settlement. That's why another man's success can never intimidate me. I got to learn this earlier in life. No matter how successful you are, you can't intimidate me. What you can only do to me, you motivate me. Because God is not a respecter of persons. What he does for one, he will do for another under the same frequency. It is simple. You are believing God for the fruit of the womb and you have been crying to God for nine years and you are going to ten years and suddenly Brother Clement stands on the pulpit and said, I waited on the Lord for ten years and the Lord has heard my cry, ended my waiting and has given me a baby girl. It's not a bad thing to say, tell me how much is the hospital bill and you pay for the bill prophetically you are connected for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Instead of that, say, hey, you sure, you sure, you sure. You are the one looking for child. You are the one with bad mouth. You have trekked and trekked until all your shoes are suffering from trachomacin. And then you see somebody dedicating a car. You cannot even say, I'm man of God. I thank God for this breakthrough. Hold this 2,000 put forward. I like this one. I like this one. I have never met good things and I don't connect. Stop trying to rub shoulder with men who have paid the price yesterday. The first time I entered our father's private jet, while the plane went up, I connected. I said, Lord, Daddy, I like this one. When the fullness of time is come, you will know that somebody connected. There are things you don't struggle for. You don't have to blame him. God is not wicked. He's not wicked. He's not an unjust God. He's not an unrighteous God. There is no darkness in him. There is no variableness. He's the father of light. Every good and every perfect gift cometh from the Lord. Cometh from the father. Every one of you must understand that. Listen to me. Life is turn by turn. After somebody is somebody. Be happy for your brother who is celebrated. So that when your time comes. So people will also be happy with you don't give up on god because he has no showed up god is not wicked and you know the beauty of god is that his ways are not your ways his ways are past finding as you don't know how the baby grow in the womb of the mother so you don't know how god's ways are there are men who can just you greet them today broke you hear their news tomorrow blessed and you are trying to phantom how this thing works if you try to found to arrange god you will blow your head 